Hi, I'm Dave Oden with uh, Wheeler Football, and we're going to talk about coaching in the heat. Now, our team is down here in Georgia. Obviously, heat's a big factor down here, but anywhere you are in this country in August, it's going to be hot. And that's a big concern for us, and that's something we really watch out with our kids. So the one thing that we do is if the heat index is above 92, our kids will not practice with their full pads, only with their pants and t-shirt without the helmets. That's a big thing. Let the body breathe and circulate. Obviously, very frequent water breaks. You really want to have your kids hydrated well before practice even starts. And that's something that you really have to emphasize to the kids and the parents of the, um, hydrating their kids, uh, you know, hours before, days before, the day before you even go into practice. That's a big, big deal down here in the South too as well. Uh, Practicing the heat is not bad as long as you take frequent breaks and watching your kids closely. It's okay to push your kids, but not for too long. So really what you're doing is shortening the drills just to accommodate the heat and you're lengthening the breaks with water. That's all you're doing. If you do those certain things, everything will be all right. Really monitor your kids, watch the breathing, make sure they're sweating, make sure they're being hydrated and watching those and, and making sure that if it's too hot, sometimes it's not worth practicing. Just take a break, do some chalk talk at that time. I'm Dave Oden with Wheeler Football. Those are my heat practicing drills.